because this morning we are taking you inside a local school that goes by the acronym JAMS, J-A-M-S, which makes it sound like a music school, right? But the only instrument these students are rocking is the abacus because JAMS stands for the Japanese Abacus Math School and the school's founder is belting out some serious numbers. Let's go, ready? Starting with 8,426, 5,139, 1,750, 6,392, 4,807. How much now? Welcome to the home of the Japanese Abacus Math School. I have a great group of students here with us today. Hello there, students. And I have the founder of the school, the lead sensei, if you will, Sensei Miwako. So what is the abacus? Why is it such a great tool for teaching math? This is abacus. This is calculator. Whatever your smartphone calculator can do, we can do it. 3,415, 6,837, 8,150, 4,269, 9,072. The answer is... 31,743. 31,743. How about a big round of applause for this young man? Yeah. Hold up. I gotta call a timeout here. While these kids are celebrating their latest abacus accomplishment, let's take a deeper dive into what exactly an abacus is. The abacus dates back some 5,000 years. Invented in China, it's widely used in Japan, Russia, and other countries to teach kids math. Like Sensei said, it's basically a manual calculator. But instead of tapping buttons, we're sliding beads. Each column of beads represents a different place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. You move the top beads down and the bottom beads up to represent a number. Now back to the students. I really enjoyed the abacus starting like when I was around six or so, and then I got really good at it around seven or eight, and I started joining competitions like nationally, internationally and it got really fun. Please allow me, Winston, to test your abacus abilities. Your sensei has provided me with the problem. I also have the answer. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. 28,946,710 plus 42,715,903 plus 51,869,437 minus 17,238,645 plus 80,397,256. Do you have an answer, my friend? Uh, 186,690,661. <laughs> You're absolutely right. High five. Wow. It's freaking nuts yeah, I, how they can do that. I love the whole experience, and uh, you know, I consider myself to be decent at math. Like, I'm not intimidated by it necessarily. And if you gave me like 53 plus 65 plus 72, I could probably do that without paper if I, but I, I would take a moment. I could not, yeah. <laughs> Why am I saying all this? My point is this with that, when they take the abacus away from those students, she'll start rattling off numbers, and I thought I could keep up, and I couldn't. She'd say 72, 17, 19, 34, yeah. 65, 23. And she kept going with about a few more numbers, and they would immediately spit out an answer. You probably Just couldn't even head. keep up on the calculator, no, could when, you? No, when they were doing the abacus yeah, with those large numbers, and I was doing the calculator, no, I had to say, wait, <laughs> wait, and I'm like trying to punch yeah. it in on my phone. Wow. Uh, yeah. So it was super cool to see, and she says the real benefit for these students, I mean, obviously they become very good at math, but she said time management, mm -hmm. self-discipline, work ethic, these are all taught and learned at the Japanese Abacus Math School, JAMS. A new location, by the way, Sensei says, is uh, hoping, or she's hoping to open it up early next year in Happy Valley. Yeah. Just gets your brain wow. to like fire it so does. fast, yeah. you know, it's a good exercise. Yeah. We were I talking guess. about that, when you learn something kind of mechanically, mechanically it sticks with you. That, that works for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that many things work for me. <laughs>